This is intermediate rudiments adding rests. I'm going to look at the first example. It says 4-2 time, so that tells me I need four half notes in the bar. So I'm going to draw four half notes. Then I'm going to look at the notes I have and cross off what I already have. Oh, first I'm going to divide the bar in half because I need to be able to divide this bar in half. So these last two chord notes equal one half note. And this first eighth note does not, so I need to add an eighth note to turn this into a quarter note. Then I'm going to add another quarter rest to make quarter plus quarter equals half. I know that's half the beat, or a half note beat. Add a half rest here and a half rest here. I can't add a whole rest because then I wouldn't be able to split the bar in half. Now my next example, I'm going to add four, four half notes, divide the bar in half, because I need to be able to divide the bar in half. Then I'm going to look what I have. This one is taken care of there. Here I have one quarter rest, or quarter note left, so I need to add a quarter rest to make this into a half note. Now here I can join this half of the bar, because I can join beats one and two, or beats three and four. I just can't join two and three. So here I can put a whole rest. Oops, that's too low. Just filling in half of the bar. And then I draw four half notes on my last one. Make sure I can divide the bar in half. So I can already see here that I can use a whole rest for that half of the bar. Now three quarter notes, a triplet means three in the time of two. So this is equivalent to two quarter notes. So that's one of these half notes. Here I have one quarter note. I need another quarter note. This equals an eighth. So I'm going to add an eighth rest. And there I have my second beat. Next question, nine eight time. So I'm going to need eighth notes, and nine doesn't divide evenly in half, so I'm, I know this is going to be in groups of three. So to draw this easily and to see clearly, I'm going to draw three groups of three eighth notes, and I don't even need to put the little dots on the bottom. I know by this symbol those are eighth notes. Now two sixteenths equals one eighth note, so that's one, two, and I need one more eighth note, three. That takes care of this. Now these main beats, this is one, two, three. So I cannot join two and three, so this has to be separate. Now I do need these to be one rest for one complete beat. So what is one rest that would take care of all of these? Well, two eighths is a quarter rest plus an eighth rest. I'm going to add a dot. So dot a quarter rest will take care of all of those, that main beat in one complete rest rather than drawing a quarter rest and an eighth rest. Now my next one, so three groups of three eighth notes. And I have one group of three right here. Now here I have, this takes care of two, so I need another eighth. So I'm going to add an eighth on there. That takes care of this. And you don't have to add your circles. Sometimes the circles are nice just to help you see the beats, or you can cross them off as you draw them. Now I need one complete beat here. There we go. And I could cross them off like this too. Whatever is neater to see. Sometimes the circles are a little messy, but it just really helps you see the groupings, especially when you're learning. Now a duple, it means two in the time of three. It's opposite of a triplet. So when I have two of these, it's really equivalent to three eighth notes. So I know that beat's already taken care of. I cannot join two and three, so I can use two separate rests here. Dot of quarters again. Next I have three four time, so that means three quarter notes in the bar. I'm going to draw my three quarter note beats, one, two, three. I know I cannot join beats two and three, so those are going to have to be separate. And over here I have a sixteenth, so first I'm going to add a sixteenth to turn that into an eighth. And then I'm going to add an eighth. Eighth plus eighth equals quarter. So I'm done. Next one. Three beats. Now anything like this where you have five notes beamed together, that's one complete beat. So that takes care of this one. I have two 
beads left. Now it is okay to join one and two in three quarter time and it's also okay to keep them separate. So whatever is easier for you to remember. It might be easier to remember that in three triple time you want to just have three separate beads. That way you don't have to remember if it's three and four or one and two or two and three. And on my next one, three quarter notes. I can see a quarter there is already taken up. Here I'm going to add my sixteenth to the end. So sixteenth plus sixteenth is an eighth. And then an eighth plus an eighth is a quarter. So that takes care of that. I'm left with a quarter rest there. And a complete rest, a complete bar. Use a whole rest. Next row, nine sixteenth. So I need sixteenth notes. Nine of them divides into groups of three. So three, or six, six, nine, and twelve. Always divide into groups of three. Oh, and I need these to be sixteenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I start at the beginning here, that's one sixteenth. I need two more. Now I can't join pulses two and three. I can't join beats two and three, and I can't join pulses two and three. So I need to keep these separate. So those are separate. And I'm going to go to the back here. And I have two already, so I just need one more here. And this one I need one complete rest for one complete beat. So an eighth rest with a dot will be equivalent to three sixteenths. And here again I have a complete bar that needs a rest, so I just need a whole rest. Here I can draw my triplets, or my groups of three sixteenths, so two. A duplet is two in the time of three, so that takes care of this one. I cannot join beats two and three, so these have to be two separate rests, like so. Four, two times, so I need four half notes in the bar. One, two, three, four. And in quadruple time, or like an even number, I need to be able to divide the bar in half. So I cannot join beats two and three. Never join beats two and three. So here I have my half note plus a quarter, the dot is equivalent to a quarter, so I also already have this one. And then over here I have an eighth, so an eighth plus an eighth is equivalent to a quarter, quarter plus a quarter is equivalent to a half, and then I need a half rest here. Now I draw my four half notes again, so three triplet, this is three in the time of two, so one, two, this is going to take care of those two. I need to be able to divide my bar in half. These two I am allowed to join, so I can put my whole rest there. Then again, for half notes. So this is equivalent to one, two for the whole note, a third one for the dot, so all I really need now is a half rest for the last one. Next we have three, four time, so I'm going to draw three quarter notes, one, two, three. I cannot join two and three. You might even put an X there to remind you, do not join two and three. So this is an eighth, this is equivalent to an eighth plus an eighth, that's a quarter. And then I'm going to need two separate quarter rests for my beats two and three. And then here again, I'm going to start at the end because I just have a little note here. So sixteenth plus sixteenth is equivalent to an eighth. And then add another eighth to get a quarter. And here again, one and two you can join with one rest, but it's also acceptable to have two separate rests in three, four time. So to keep it easy, we'll keep them separate. Three quarter notes. Here's one, so that's one taken care of. Then I have my sixteenth rest. So sixteenth plus sixteenth is eighth, plus another eighth is a quarter, and leaves me with a quarter rest there. Now three again, so these two are taking care of this one. And we have an eighth plus an eighth is a quarter here, and then one more quarter rest there. Now I have six eight. So yes, six is divisible by two. Um, but when you have a six eight time, it's more commonly seen like this with two groups of three. So we'll add our two groups of three on there. Now thirty second note, so I need to start in the top space for thirty second note. So 32nd plus 32nd is the same as a 16th. Then add a 16th rest to turn this into an 8th. I have one of my beats. 
Now I need two more, but they're the second and third pulses. I cannot join them, so I need eighth, eighth. That takes care of my first beat. Now I'm going to go to the end here, 16th plus 16th equals an eighth. And then I have my first two pulses, which can be joined by one rest, so I can add a quarter rest there. So 6, 8, draw my two groups of 3, 16th plus 16th is an eighth, and then my two uh, beats 2 and 3 pulses, or pulses 2 and 3 cannot join, and then I have this one rest for one group, one, one beat. So 6, 8 time, two groups of 3 eighths. I'm going to start at the end here because there's a note there, so one is taken care of, those two I'm allowed to join. And then this one has to be one complete beat. 12, 8. So here's another one like 6, 8. When you have um, 6, 9, or 12, you always divide into groups of 3 eighth notes or 3 sixteenth notes. So 3, 6, 9, 12. I need to be able to divide the bar in half because this is um, a quadruple time. I can have 2 on one side, 2 on the other. So a quarter note takes care of two of those. I need another eighth. This I need one complete rest. Now two and three you can join the second half of the bar uh, for beats three and four. Two and three you cannot join, but beats three and four, the whole second half of the bar, you're allowed to join. So um, this would normally be two dotted quarter rests, or I can go and put a dotted half rest here because a quarter plus a quarter is a half plus the two dots or if you count these up one two three that's the same as three quarters there now again four sets of three eighth notes be able to, I need to draw my line to remind me I can divide the bar in half do not join beats two and three so in the beginning here I have my eighth rest now I cannot join pulses two and three so I need two separate rests for that one complete rest for this and then here I have those two crossed off I need to add my third eighth note in there and then one complete rest for that one and again four sets of three eighth notes to make twelve eighth notes a duple is two in the time of three so this is takes care of one beat this one takes care of one beat I need to be able to drop divide my bar in half so here I can add one complete rest for the first half of the bar so dotted half rest 9 8 so three groups of three eighth notes 1 2 3 so eighth note 2 sixteenths is an eighth note I need one more eighth note here and then I cannot join beats 2 and 3 so I need two separate rests here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I cannot join two and three. So this one is take this takes up all of this. Here I need one more eighth note or eighth rest takes care of that. And then my dotted half over here. Or dotted quarter I should say. One, two, three. So a duple takes care of this whole thing. I cannot join two and three, so I need two separate rests here. Four, four. So I'm going to draw four quarter notes. I must be able to divide the bar in half. In other words, do not join beats two and three. So I start with my small note, and I need to add a sixteenth rest to turn this into an eighth. Add an eighth rest, so eighth plus eighth is a quarter. That takes care of one beat. Add another quarter rest for this beat, and I can join the last half of the bar together with one half rest. Here again, my four quarter notes. A group of five like this takes care of one complete beat. I need to be able to divide my bar in half, so I need a quarter rest there, and here I can put my half rest for those two beats. Four quarter notes again. Make sure I can divide my bar in half. This one cancels out that one. 16th plus 16th is 8th. 8th plus an 8th is a quarter. And this I may join with one rest. And again, a complete bar is a complete 
whole rest. And there you have it.